just a reminder that you should have these notes printed so that you can be filling in the information that I give you and that you should be working on your quizzes that are due this week. I would again suggest that you start with the homework. You can look for help there um, and look at other examples that might be useful as you do the quizzes after you do the homework. In this lecture, we want to talk about functions. A function is a relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. Remember that a set of ordered pairs is a set of x, y coordinates. So for example, we could write this as just a set of distinct x, y coordinates. So this is a relation. The equations that we've been working with, the linear equations, the quadratic equations, these are relations. Because when I substitute in a value for x, I get a value for y, giving me an ordered pair. Every value of x I put in gives me another value of y. So we have, again, a set of ordered pairs represented by this equation, a relation. When we say that x corresponds to y, then x is serving as the input. I put in a value for x. And y serves as the output. A function is a specific type of relation. A function is a relation where each value of x corresponds to exactly one value of y. The domain is the set of all permissible x values. Remember when we were looking at rational expressions, we were finding non-permissible values of x. The domain is the permissible values of x. The range is the set of corresponding y values. So we have a set of relations listed here, and we want to determine whether each of them is a function or not. And if they are functions, we want to state the domain and range. Let's look at our first example. Two corresponds to three, four corresponds to one, three corresponds to two, ah, or sorry, to negative two there. But now I have two corresponding to negative one. This value two, my input, has two outputs. Remember that a function says that every x corresponds to exactly one y. This x is corresponding to two different y values. So no, this is not a function. Why don't you stop and look at the next relation, decide whether or not it's a function. Yes, this one is a function. Every value of x corresponds to exactly one y. So we can find the domain and the range. The range is the set, or sorry, the domain is the set of x values. The range is the set of y values. Is the last relation a function? Yes, it is. 
2 corresponds to 3 and nothing else. 3 corresponds to 3 and nothing else. 4 corresponds to 3 and nothing else. 5 corresponds to 3 and nothing else. This is a function. Pause your video and write down the domain and range. The domain was the set of X values. The range has only one, just three. Notice that in our functions, X cannot repeat. This is not a function because their X value is repeating. That's supposed to be an R. So we can say then a given relation is a function if X values do not repeat.